Welcome back to Fox Recaps. Today, I'm going to explain the movie Dick Tracy, released in the year 1990. At the beginning of the film, a homeless boy known as Kid is eating out of a garbage can. He wanders into a building where five gruesome-looking street gangsters are playing illegal poker. All of a sudden, a car bursts in through the wall and the people inside it ambush all five of the gangsters. The person who killed them is named Flattop. He is the right-hand man of a wealthy gangster, Big Boy Caprice. Then we're introduced to the town's bravest cop, Dick Tracy. He's enjoying an opera performance with his girlfriend, Tess, when he gets the news about the recent mass killing. On rushing him to the crime scene, he finds Eat Lead Tracy written on the wall. It's clear to him that Big Boy is responsible for the murders. Tracy and Big Boy have a years-long enmity. Big Boy has committed several crimes over the past years, but has always gotten away with them. Tracy has been trying to catch him for quite a while and is confident that he'll be successful one day. After gathering the evidence from the scene, Tracy returns to the opera and joins Tess. In another corner of the town, a seductive singer named Breathless is performing in Club Ritz. She is accompanied by the pianist 88 Keys, also known as the best pianist in the city. The club's owner, Lips Manless, is enjoying the performance alongside a plate of oysters. Just as Breathless joins him at the table, the police arrive to arrest Lips for operating a gambling establishment. As his accomplice in the crime, Breathless is also arrested. They're taken to the police car where it's revealed that they're not real cops, but are big boy's men who have come to kidnap the two. Meanwhile, Tracy and Tess walk down the street, going to their favorite restaurant after the opera. Tess tries to convince her boyfriend to settle down to a less dangerous job, but Tracy isn't interested in playing it safe until he catches Big Boy. Suddenly, a kid bumps into them and runs away with a stolen watch. Tracy chases after him but seemingly loses him. The kid takes the watch to his ruthless guardian who abuses him for not getting something more valuable. Tracy barges into the house and teaches the man a lesson for troubling the kid. At Big Boy's hideout, Lips and Breathless are being held hostage. The gangster holds Lips at gunpoint and demands he signs over the club Ritz to him. Once Lips reluctantly signs off the club to Big Boy, he's given a cement bath and is killed in the process. After his death, poor Breathless has to do whatever Big Boy says. Tracy brings the kid to the diner and introduces him to Tess. Since he has nowhere to go, the couple decides to temporarily take care of him. As they eat, Tracy gets a message on his wrist radio about Lips' kidnapping. He asks Tess to take care of the kid for a while before rushing to the scene. Once he arrives, he finds remnants of walnuts on the ground and deduces that Big Boy is behind the kidnappings since walnuts are his favorite. He also finds Breathless's earring on the floor and keeps it as evidence. In the following scene, we see Big Boy at the Club Ritz. He orders Breathless and a chorus line of girls to practice for their next performance until 2 in the morning. The poor girls have no way but to oblige since he is the new boss of the club. Tracy and the police go to the club and arrest Big Boy for Lips's murder. Tracy follows Breathless into her dressing room to ask her to testify against Big Boy. However, he's met with a surprise when she comes out in a revealing gown. She tries to seduce him, but when he rejects her advances, she refuses to testify. Since she is the only witness, there isn't enough evidence against Big Boy, so he is released. Tracy returns to his apartment early the next morning and finds Tess asleep in the living room while the kid is in the bed. Tess asks him to take care of the boy before hurrying back to her greenhouse. Later that day, Tracy and Tess get the kid new clothes and take him to the places he wants to visit. But the highlight of the kid's day is when he gets to eat every hour. By the end of the day, all three of them are exhausted. They're outside Tess's apartment dropping her off. Tracy tries to suggest they move in together but ends up awkwardly repeating the same sentence. Suddenly, a car drives past and showers them with bullets. Fortunately, the kid alerts Tracy on time and saves the couple's life. The following day, Breathless shows up at Tracy's office at his request. As usual, she talks to him in riddles and seductively gets on his table. Tracy shows her the earring he found at the crime scene, urging her to testify. She agrees to do it, but only if Tracy gives in to her sexual advances. She moves in for a kiss, but retreats after Tracy shows no interest. In the next scene, Big Boy is in a meeting with all the local crime bosses of the town. He wants to join hands with them and create a singular company. That way, even Tracy cannot fight against them. One of the crime bosses, Spaldoni, refuses to cooperate and leaves. But when he gets into his car outside, it explodes. 
Tracy is home when someone from child welfare knocks on his door. On opening it, he realizes it's a trap set by Big Boy. His henchmen, Itchy and Flattop, grab Tracy and bring him to a boiler room where Big Boy is waiting. The gangster offers Tracy a bribe to join hands with him, but Tracy refuses to cooperate. As the next resort, Big Boy instructs his men to kill the detective, but make it seem like an accident. They trap Tracy in a chair and cause the boiler to overheat. After they leave, the kid arrives just in time to save Tracy before the house explodes. Because of his bravery, the police chief presents the kid with an honorary certificate. However, the kid needs to choose a real name before officially claiming it. The next day, Breathless shows up at Tracy's apartment dressed in yet another seductive outfit. She starts the conversation with the usual alluring comments, but her main reason for the visit is she's worried that if she testifies against Big Boy, he will kill her. Tracy promises to save her with his life if that's the case. The two get a little too close and kiss in the heat of the moment. Just then, Tess and the kid arrive from a trip to the grocery store. Tess sees her boyfriend with another girl but doesn't call him out for it. Instead, she cries alone in the kitchen when no one is watching. Then, we're introduced to a new character called The Blank. He doesn't show his face and doesn't reveal his motive but is heavily involved in Tracy and Big Boy's lives. The Blank offers the pianist $5,000 to give a letter to Big Boy. In the letter, he guarantees Big Boy protection and offers to get rid of Tracy for a 10% share of Big Boy's business. However, the gangster declines the offer, refusing to do business with someone who doesn't show his face. One day, Big Boy is enjoying an evening in his club when Tracy and his team raid it. They do not find anything illegal, but it's revealed that the raid was only a cover. It was a distraction so a policeman could plant a microphone in the back room of the club. Starting the next day, Tracy gets to know about numerous crimes associated with Big Boy and debunks them one after another. Big Boy is frustrated not being able to figure out who's telling the police about their businesses. That is, until one day when he discovers the microphone and plans to use it to lure Tracy. Tracy meets Tess at the diner where she tells him she's leaving town. She still doesn't call him out for kissing Breathless and simply leaves without an explanation. Somewhere else, Big Boy has captured one of Tracy's associates and is bathing him in cement just like he did Lips. Tracy arrives at the right time and saves his friend before fighting the thugs. Suddenly, the Blank arrives and helps Tracy in the fight. After being defeated, Big Boy is furious. He agrees to the deal that Blank Face offered him, but only if it includes killing Tracy. In the following scene, we see Tess at her mother's house. She cannot stop thinking about Tracy no matter how hard she tries. When she finally decides to talk to him, the Blank arrives and kidnaps her. Tracy and Breathless meet again, and once again he asks her to testify. This time, Breathless demands that he admit he wants her. Tracy finally admits that he thinks about her, but he won't say he wants her because it would hurt the one he actually loves. The comment breaks her heart, but she keeps herself composed. A while later, Tracy receives a message to come to Tess's greenhouse. He excitedly rushes to the location, but when he arrives, the Blank drugs him with hidden gas lines. The gases cause Tracy to fall unconscious, giving Blank the full authority to do anything he wants with him. Instead of killing him, Blank wants to frame him as a criminal. He shoots a policeman with a silenced gun and propels Tracy's drugged body into a sofa in the room. In the end, Tracy is falsely arrested for the murder. Meanwhile, a lady from the orphanage comes to take the kid. He goes to live with the other kids for a few days, but is miserable the entire time. In contrast, Big Boy is back in business better than ever. He goes rampant because of Tracy's absence and does whatever he wants. From the orphanage, the kid calls the chief and tells him he knows Tracy didn't kill the policeman. The chief also suspects he's telling the truth, having known Tracy for several years. He picks the kid up from the orphanage on New Year's Eve to visit Tracy in jail. The kid shows Tracy his permanent certificate in which he has changed his name to Dick Tracy Jr. Suddenly, Tracy's police friends help him escape the prison. He immediately sets out to rescue his girlfriend who hasn't returned home till now. At the same time, Blank calls the police and frames Big Boy for kidnapping Tess. Tracy is furious at the gangster for bringing his girlfriend into their personal differences. He and his police friends ambush several of Big Boy's men outside the club and barge in. Big Boy finds Tess in a vault and finally realizes that he's being set up. He takes her hostage and flees to the nearby bridge. Tracy follows them and finds them in the gear room of the bridge. 
He finally gets to Tess and unties her when the blank arrives. He is seconds away from shooting Tracy, but cannot do so. In the end, Big Boy shoots the blank. Tracy then shocks Big Boy, which sends him falling to his death. The blank's mask is finally taken off, and Tracy is shocked to find Breathless behind it. She tells him that she is too weak to harm him, which was her only mistake. With her last breath, she kisses him before dying. In the following scene, Tracy, Tess, and Tracy Jr. are at a diner, enjoying a meal. Tracy tries to ask Tess to marry him, but is interrupted by his wrist radio for the hundredth time. As Tracy and the kid leave to investigate the new case, he tosses Tess a ring, silently asking her to marry him. At last, she wears the ring and sees them off for another day of fighting the bad guys. That was all from the video. I hope you liked it. Subscribe for more content like this and hit the like button to help us out. Also, leave a comment if you want us to recap your favorite movie. Until next time, take care.